Oh, uh, uh, hello. I've, I've got a mission for you. Okay, I'm so incredibly pumped for a mission right now. Great. Um, well, I dropped my magic pie rock somewhere and I can't find it. I'll give you something really rare and valuable if you fetch it for me. Okay. Any clues about where it is? Um, yeah. It's, it's just there. Ah. Alright. Thanks. Uh, hold on. I'll get your reward. <laughs> ah. Well, yeah, I guess that is quite rare. Right, well, greetings survivors and friends and welcome to this week's update vid where today we can get a good idea of what to expect in October's patch Enforced Wipe coming on 7th and your very first peek at the new desert monument stuff and rockety McRocket face. But first, slap me on the sub button. It's one thing in life that's totally free and you can always dump me later. Over on the staging branch, missions are in for testing over the next week and subject to change. So don't expect to be able to see a face in them just yet. Missions are provided by mission providers, and there are eight different ones to locate. That's two at the bandit camp, two at the fishing village, two at the outpost, and two at the stables. At the moment, they mostly provide basic fetch quests in return for basic items, but of course you shouldn't take anything here as final for obvious reasons, and more mission content will be arriving over the coming days. Let me show you how one works, and we'll try a mission for some fishing down at the fishing village. This chap says he'll give you a rod and some bait in return for retrieving his missing tackle. You will then see a big M indicating exactly where it is. Lazy git. At the designated location, you'll find a box that only you should be able to open. Then just grab the contents and return them to their owner before the timer runs out. It appears you can only have one mission on the go at a time, but it looks like there will be a variety with ones here also for hunting, for instance. That's just animals, of course, but one does wonder if there'll ever be bounty missions. Mm. In other changes coming this month, the camper modules had a bit of a rejig inside and viewing angles have been adjusted to make reaching everything possible from every seat in the back. <coughs> In addition to this, vehicle chassis now have nav mesh components to stop Mr. Bear and friends from phasing through them, and Bradley will now fire at you inside a modular car even if you're cowering in a camper and technically hidden. All of the quality of life changes I mentioned in previous vids this month will be coming in with the next patch on the 7th, and I'd refer you back to learn more about those, but just to recap on some of them, painted signs will retain their art when picked up, supply drops will have lights on at night, there were some authorization improvements for turrets, vehicle will stay stuck to the cargo ship instead of sliding off, and there's a new tab in the console for server admins to do server admin -y stuff. Mill tunnels have had a couple of tweaks, basically scientists and elite crates won't respawn until you leave, and for custom map makers a couple of new spawners, namely for the magnet crane and scrappable pickups were added, which should now enable easy custom junkyards. Huzzah! In works in progress, Happis Island is being worked on once more. I spoke to the team and checked in on how things are going and things are going, slowly but surely. It is a massive task, which thanks to the new cliffs and ground textures from the HDRP backport update means that the whole terrain has to be revamped to a large degree. No date still, but you will hopefully be back on it sometime this decade. Okay, and now I can finally start replacing my very detailed mock-up of the new desert base that's being worked on with some actual artwork. At the moment this consists of some props for hangars and tents, but should give you a flavour for it. Actually. I wasn't that far off, was I? And as you'll know, if you've been paying attention, it appears this monument will be interactive and include some kind of event involving one of these HDRPs, or whatever they're called, and from what we've seen in the commits, it looks like it'll involve getting inside and pressing big red dangerous looking buttons. I'm not sure exactly when all this will be ready for the prime time, and it's still very much subject to change, but stay tuned and I'll bring you more info when I get it. Lastly, and a bit of a shocker as I was writing about it in a new comment Concept limbo. For next week, the scientist barge has resurfaced in the commit. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but I think it's this one, and basically this was meant to be an alternative spawn point that would be continuously circling the island. Does this mean we'll see this hove interview soon on servers, or will it disappear into the mists again? Let me know what you think to this week's news in the comments, please. You can support me now directly on YouTube with channel memberships, or via Patreon, or even just nab yourself a sub Subject to change! Mug or shirt, up to you. Links below also to my social media where you can stay up to date with my content and Twitch, of course. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk.